I'm gonna actually go on the stream and <laughs> say it's a bad first level and that uh, the, that door thing was a glitch. Anyways, don't know what that was.
too. What's this?
what happens when you stand in the cursed fountain in Torotaru.
Mother may go there. To talk to her.
Why do you have a Ready to do a moon, Tom?
in our cave. Pray to Monoma. Read it dumb to you, man.
go on my Yolama. Take a cup too. Uh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
The mayor of the mayor of the mayor of
Mungu. Okay, you know where I can go. 
Granted your mom by.
been on a call with uh, with my friend for a while and so anyway I'll just give you a, a little brief on what's going on in the game right now so this is a new update 0.7.3 I think it is um, I called it the coin farmer update uh, so this is an update to Torutaru that adds a lot of uses for coins and also new ways to get them. Okay. 
Uh, a lot of new ways to get coins. Oh, here's something that you can do with coins. So, here, I'll give you an example. I'm going to cheat. Uh, so I'm going to cheat and get myself a lot of coins. Sorry. I just want to show it to you, like, right now. I'll restart after this, because cheats, cheats do ruin it. Like, every time I throw a coin, it also drops, like, every talisman on my feet, so... The cheats really do ruin it. But anyways, um, that's a lot of talismans. Let's ignore those. But I want to show you something. So, in this map, in this level, talismans spawn here, uh, over in that talisman room, obviously. And then there's some... Um, oh, that's the end door. Oh, and the other one's the key. Okay, so that's all the talismans on this floor, right? I'm going to show you what it looks like when you put a bunch... Ignore the ones at my feet. Ignore the ones at my feet. That's from cheats. Oh, I got some lag. Ignore those, but... So this blessing thing will give you more items that spawn anywhere on the level. This is what it looks like when you go totally overboard with that. It's 50 coins. Okay, so ignore this pile right here. Just, uh, just ignore that. And then also ignore the pile right here. I'm gonna mark those in blue. Okay, okay, so. You remember, there was this one and these, and that's the only talismans, right? After you get that buff, oh, screw it, may as well throw one more in. Um, that buff, see this one's a new one. What that buff does is it makes things just start spawning more. Um, It'll happen at random times, three times per buff. So like when you get the buff once, if you just throw one, wow, look at all these talismans. There it is. They spawn far away. They're supposed to. So you don't notice them spawn in front of you. But um, that's, what, that's what giving money to that fountain does, is it makes t uh, talismans spawn more. And if you wait long enough, eventually, actually, it'll spawn coins. Um, at the end of the buff. So I think it spawns three talismans when you get the buff one time. And then after the third talisman, it'll spawn random coins somewhere. So. But you see how many talismans this thing's spawning. It's pretty crazy. So that's what, uh. Like, you remember, okay, you remember th this was where we started? Remember, I was like, there's these, and there's those, and that's it. And check this out. There's another one. Two new ones. Two other new ones. A trail of them. Like, there's literally so many. So that's what the blessing does. I have so many talismans, man. You can't mess with me. Hear this ghost trying to be all hard. Kind of want to heal. Oh yeah, look at all the talismans in here now. There were like three, I think. This is what that blessing does when you give coins to the fountain. Where is that fountain again? Was it on this level? I don't really remember. Yeah, yeah, there it is. There it is. All the blood from the ghost I just killed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, so that's what it does. That's what the blessing does. I don't know when we're going to see the coins because it's got to go through three random time dice rolls, so I don't know if that's fun for me to, I don't know if any of this is really fun to listen to hear me talk about. These have been, by the way, these runs have been really bad. Whoa! What was that? I got the key, right? Yeah. Let's exit. I wonder if we'll see... Well, I guess we'll probably hear the coins rattling around. They spawn in a random place. Anyway, so, yeah, tonight I pretty much just wanted to demonstrate, yeah, what's been going on. All the new stuff. Hallway of Loneliness. 
Um, yeah, there's just some really cool stuff. So I guess I'll call some of it out and maybe do a little bit of narration here, a little commentary. So this is a new item. This is what's known as a large furniture item in the code. Um, basically, it can be one of these or a couple of different types of like cabinets, like drawers. Um, those books are new. That is a ketchup bottle. Um, it's probably not going to be there forever, but this is interesting with the room spawn. I mean, it spawned this all on its own, um, which is pretty cool. Um, very little programming, and this thing came up with something pretty smart. Uh, like, that's where I'm impressed by this game, is not at the things that I have done, but on the things that the game can do by itself. Um, that's actually what made me want to make this game like public as I've made it. Because I've made a lot of games that I don't, you know, I don't make them public. But this one, just the way that it kind of takes care of itself, really interesting to me. Like, you don't understand how little of this game, you know, is programmed by me. How, like, there's so much of it that's just set it and forget it. Like, you know, I write a couple of very simple lines of code and I basically know what they're gonna do, but I make them modular so that they can interact with other things. And I think, I think we're gonna get into this level. So, yeah, I mean, it's cool just how much of this is. But as for my role in design, I feel like I'm merely guiding it, you know? Like, I don't know what this level's gonna do. I didn't design it. I did some of this stuff, you know? I put the textures on it. I made the little grass billboards. They're not even actual billboards. They're planes that rotate, that are looking at you. Oops. This is interesting. You see the flashing here? There's two of those. We want to get out of here. <laughs> what? Funny. Okay. It really wants us to do a garden level. And like, that's the kind of thing that I love about the randomness of this. I think the door is really right here. Yeah. But that's what I love about the randomness is like, I did not choose to give this, uh, give this a whirl twice, the garden level. You know, that's just how it, that's how it sends it up for us. I had to get more comfortable. But yeah, like the two garden levels in a row when I tried to skip it. It's just interesting. I don't know. You know what I mean? I guess that's like any roguelike. I guess like there's not really too much to marvel at. I just, I think it's pretty cool. Like I have nerve damage, is what I feel like. Okay, this one's not gonna play hide and seek with me. So these guys, if they uh, if they 
so okay if you come into one of these rooms and you see one of these guys and you leave the room and he runs away uh, he's playing hide and seek with you um, so if you find him like three or four times he will um, drop coins It'll, yeah he'll drop coins I think there's eight different kinds with eight different faces and clothes and stuff. I think it's eight. Man, I don't feel good. Hope I don't have a seizure or a stroke. I feel crazy right now. Might just be overtired and undernourished. Do I use my coin in here? No, because there's no... Uh, not a lot of ways to get coins in the locker rooms. Reliable ways. Uh, there's cabinets actually don't spawn here. So. Um, coins can come out of lockers, but lockers are totally unpredictable. I mean, everything's unpredictable. It's all RNG, but you know what I mean. Like lockers, I can't open lockers. They just open on their own. They have a mind of their own entirely. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> but I didn't just do that. been through here, been through all of here. What happens when I pick this up? Wow, that's a lot of level that I haven't explored. Okay, well, it was a small room where I saw that thing. It was not a big room. It's one of these. It's one of these. Which one has the most points? Four down this way, three, two, oh yeah. I guess these I haven't been to. Okay. Five this way, five this way, four this way. Go straight. Whoops. Could it? Nope. I didn't keep the eye talisman either. Shoot. This way. Yep. Then, okay, so that left, okay. Whew, all right. One more good floor, and then I'm off for the night. I think my body's trying to tell me it's sleepy time. Why is it showing me all these like it's the first time I picked them up? Did I use a, a bad cheat that got rid of all my progress? Uh, a couple of recall talismans, that's cool. I want to remember that this is the talisman room, and I'm actually going to do a... call that? I'm going to do that, uh, I'm going to do a stray warp. That teleports uh, the user to a random place on the current floor. In fact, check this out. Ready? If I want to come right back here, check this out. You know about the double travel talisman, right? But you don't know about the double recall talisman. So let's say I want to go to a random place, because I don't know how big this map is. But I want to come back here. You drop that one first. Pick this one up. Secondary ability. Where did it take me? All the way out here? Cool. Um, looks cool. There's a closet. Maybe I want to mark that, you know? Uh, dead end, maybe I want to mark that. This is a dead end too? No. Yes, okay. So, all this back here is a dead end. And then here's here's what you can do, if you want to. Uh, I have that... Whoa! 
Okay, as I was saying, I have that recall talisman down in the... Come on now. I have that recall talisman down in the talisman room, so... Anyways, right, I can warp back to the talisman room. Get the talisman I had before, heal up from getting hurt by that guy. In fact, let's double heal up. Let's drop a uh, heart talisman and get my health to 6++. plus plus. Yeah, so, it's a pretty... Double recall talisman is a pretty, pretty good move. Um, you don't always get the opportunity to do it, obviously, you need two of them. But it's a lot like, you know, the double travel talisman where you got two. Um, so you can, like, skip a level and keep one in case you want to skip a level again. You know, if you've played Torutaru for any length of time, you've probably done something like that. It's kind of the same deal, but with recall talismans. Oh, and with these, don't get me started. You want to see what you can do with these? I'll show you what you can do with the beacon talisman. First of all, we need a ghost. We need a problem. I want to show you what you can do with the beacon talisman. I wish I had two. In fact, I don't need two. Or rather, I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> okay. Okay. You ready for this? Where should I put the ghost, first of all? I need a room where I can put them. Let's go. Let's keep them pretty far away from everything. Yeah, yeah. Let's put them back in this hallway. Okay. So, here's a beacon talisman, right? What does this thing do? Every five seconds, it lets off this little blast. And any... It, the closest harmful thing anywhere, besides zombies, I think. Um, anything that can produce, you know, the glitchy, the glitchy spirit damage uh, will get pulled to this, if there is one. Right now, there isn't one. If there was, the closest one, one's probably going to fly past me in a sec and scare the shit out of me. I bet you. Bet you. Oh! Yup! Okay. So. But watch. The beacon talisman pulls it back. Interesting, right? Come on, there you go. It pulled up. Now it's not my problem anymore. Those are just some ghosts popping in and out. You know, those are not even dangerous ghosts. But it's anything that could harm you will get drawn to that talisman. So check this out. Like, you can drop that there. And one spirit, the closest one to the talisman, will be pulled to it. And you can drop these, you know, in a couple of places. Oops. So, so here, check this out. I'll show you what it's good for. So, um, angered spirit just spawned, right? There it is. There it is. And it's bad. It's a bad one. Oh, hey! Dude, rare spawn. That thing will go away. It's a rare spawn if I back up. See, it's already gone. But. Right. Shoot. Anyway, so. What happens when you have multiple of these, though? What happens if you have multiple beacon talismans? Well, let's find out. Uh, I'm gonna wait for him to get pulled back. Okay, okay. So, one. Go up. Okay, two. And I'm just gonna spawn some. Just, I'm just doing this for the effect. I wanna show you what it's like when multiple are down. He's trapped. That's four. Oh, spider. So you see that every time one goes off, it pulls him back. Now you can time these a little smarter. Okay. 
Okay. There you go. So this guy is like essentially trapped. Oh. Well, there's more than one spirit now, so. Pretty crazy, though. Really interesting visual. So yeah, that's a beacon talisman trap. Another deep strategy. And I can show you here, you know what I'll do? I'll show you what it's like to uh, use it in practice. I'll show you. Go to the next level and get rid of all that. Here is the practical way to use the beacon talisman. I'm gonna summon a spirit. Oh, hello. Credit to Mortimer. I'm strong. I will protect you. Okay. If you've never seen one of these, she'll uh, she'll drop a talisman when that guy gets close. She dropped a protection talisman, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, let's say this dude's chasing uh -oh. another spirit. Come here, man. Okay. Dude, this is a weird this is a weird floor. A lot of these spawns happening, so th when the spawn happens it despawns other spirits. Okay. So let's say this dude's chasing us, right? He's chasing us to the end of this hall, right? Drop the beacon talisman and pass him as best you can. Every time that goes off, it'll pull him right back. So he'll stay back there. Whoa! Why are you here? Hey! What is that? It's the dude. You see that? What was that? I want that. Oh, found the guy again. Hey, dude, check it out. Clip that. I've been wanting to show my friend that. And actually, I've never oh, even tested it. That was the first. Um, like, I programmed it and I just kind of assumed that it worked, you know? A lot. Of, there's some stuff in the game. Whoa, hey there. There's some stuff in the game that, like, you know, doesn't really need tested, like that. Like, functionally, I know what that's gonna do. Testing it is where I'll see it and maybe make it look a little nicer, but <laughs> get away, man. Get away. Oh my goodness. Oh shoot. This is my hallway with the oh uh, man. Oh dude, but check this out. So the protect talisman right there. So it'll pull them back. And then they're stuck back there because the protect talisman pushes them back there. That's pretty cool stuff. I should get out of this level. Am I invincible? I am. I had invincibility cheats on this whole time. I'm gonna start over and not cheat. But not without making a really hardcore beacon talisman chap first. <laughs> I don't remember 
start this. Dude, I reached through the wall and grabbed the talisman. No way. Interesting. Oh. Interesting exploit there. Wow, I can grab that through the wall. Not all the time, but a lot of the time. Look at that. Oh, definitely. Wow, okay. Alright, anyway, how big is this level? Pretty small, right? Yeah. Alright. I'll make this one more good run. Uh, I'll try to be nice and nice and brisk. Let's speed run. Yeah. Dang. Okay. All right. Let's do this. So hopefully this one. Hopefully this is the key. By the way, the get the X is if you don't know what that is, um, you know, where I can see what's what on the map. Uh, that's the item talisman secondary ability, just in case you don't know. It's not a cheat, it is actually in the game. If you get an uh, object talisman, let's see if we got one here. Yeah. So, um, look at my map, pretty barren, you know, it's just what I've explored so far, you know, as I explore. Uh, that map will expand, but, uh, you know, and obviously I can draw on it, right? I can, I can draw all happy faces, but, um, but where's all the stuff, you know? And obviously I'll find it if I explore, right? Um, but where are the talismans? Where's the key? You know, maybe there's a better way. Well, there is. The secondary ability here is find one use. Um, it doesn't get rid of the talisman, and it marks the location of stuff. And uh, if you're in the middle of a quest, it'll also find you the quest item location, uh, which is pretty crazy. So, uh, once again, that's what I've explored, and then here I go. And now we've got... It doesn't tell you what any of the stuff is, it just puts an X on it, but you can kind of interpret, so there's a bunch clumped together, right? What is that probably? It's probably talismans, because, you know, obviously there's only one key. And only one exit, which it marks on the map for you. Key, it, you know, keys, exits, talismans. So it's got to be one of these two, right? So let's see what we got in this direction. First of all, I'm seeing some fog here. I think I'm about to spawn an angered spirit, which would suck. Do I do not? Oh, dude, I can test out the quest item thing. Okay. Oh. I Interesting glitch. Okay. So, okay. And then here's our quest giver. Uh, so for one thing, I need to reset the object talisman. Oh, never mind. No, I don't. Okay. So there's the quest item right there. Because I knew these were talismans. Those are talismans. That's something. That's something. That's new. So you can use it to figure out where the quest item is. Oh, that's ghost going the same direction I am. What do you need is boat board game? Yeah. Man, for real. But anyways, yeah. So that's what the object talisman's good for. It's also good for obviously just random objects. Uh, <laughs> that's a very random object, but this is actually helpful, it blocks spirits. This dude is, uh, no. Please go. Interesting. Hey. 
in the Odi. Reddit done the job on I'll totally take that. Oh yeah, okay, so then the key is gonna be... Oh shoot. It's still not exactly straightforward. Okay, there we go, there we go. Interesting. So we got a jukebox, we got an exit. It's really interesting. And then a key. Now, I really wish... I had a coin for that jukebox, dog. I really, I really wish I had a, key, a coin for that. Shoot! Come on, man. Let's not do that. Do I want to kill it? Get some coins? Oh yeah! Hold up! Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. There we go, jackpot, jackpot. Okay, now I got coins. So... Hell yeah. Okay. So the strategy of this thing is, it's kind of hard to push around, but when it's bopping, it'll kind of turn itself, because it's hard for you to turn it, right? Um, so like, let's say it's stuck up against this wall. I could just kind of, you know, guide it. It'll dance around on its own a little bit and just kind of kind of wait for it to do what you want. There you go, like that. Come on, hop a little this way, buddy. One of the new songs. Why do now okay? To talk to her. Once again, item talisman, object talisman. We know what this is. Uh, but what's what's that and what's that? The object talisman is fun, man. Uh, it can spit out basically anything. Whoa! See what I mean? Oh! Let's go somewhere where there's a fountain. I kind of want to dump some of these coins in the fountain. There is not a fountain in this level. Weird doors though. a lamp that didn't despawn from the previous level. Nice. Okay. Really interesting. Ah! Really interesting level here. A couple of 
pictures of this guy that kind of looks like evil, evil Zack. I gotta tell Zack about this. It's a funny screenshot. That one's good. Look at that. The eye. It's like a dude with a vagina for a head. Uh -oh. What's going on back here? We got doors closing on their own. Flashlight that doesn't go out, it sort of blows. I gotta fix that, dude. I literally don't know how to. Because, like, there should be no problem. I've checked the code, I've, like, you know, run it in debug and stuff. I just can't figure it out. It should be working. Debug thinks it's working. You know, here it is, a flashlight this, that doesn't turn off. Also, there is one other bug. I did find a bug earlier. I'll show it to you. Watch how hardcore this guy's gonna attack me. Dude, just whoop my ass. I'm real lost. This is all nothing. Considering that this is all RNG, pretty cool spot. Uh -oh. Bad thing. Let's get out of here. Did I ever see a yep exit? Okay, not a bad level one. I'm gonna speed run one more time. Make this one good run. I'm not even gonna try to explore. I'm gonna
could have recalled for the real speed run. Okay, interesting spread. Uh, okay. Oh, interesting. Check this out. You ready? Look at all these beacon talismans. Shit, I better use it now. that rhythm. Boom. Boom. So anything that spawns, that's... That is so cool. The three different talismans with the three different colors. That is so cool. Wow. Okay. So anything that spawns will be pulled there. That's what I want. Alright. We've already explored this. See what this does. Wow, okay. And that's gonna suck. Let's see what this does. Okay. That looks like talismans. That's the key. Okay, you ready for this? So, recall talisman right there. Let's get that key. So, I'm gonna go through the room where the ghost is, come out, uh, and make a right. Two ghosts. Boom. Boom. That was, uh, Recall. That was an end door recall technique. Get to max health real quick before I end that. Oh, and I forgot the protection talisman persists. Hey there. <gasps> it's you. Okay, what are we doing? Got no talisman. I hear a talisman room. Unless that was the fire. Get us out of there quick. Where is this gate? Okay. Okay, now if we were to pull the ghost into all one spot, where would we do it? I say we do it here. I also think there is a talisman room down that way. So, is there? No, I don't know. This is how you use the beacon talisman. You go to the furthest place away you could possibly imagine. And then drop the beacon there. And anything that hurts you, every five seconds, we pulled back there. It'll only grab the closest harmful thing. So if it grabs one, it's going to grab that one forever, but it still peels one of the Mafia, you know. Less trouble for you. Hey! Oh, shame I got no coins. <gasps> nah, I'm not going to find any either. <sighs> I went most of the night without finding any, now I'm finding them all the time. Who left? 
The exit is obviously up ahead. I gotta get rid of those, the dialogue over her head. We're past that. We've got a UI. Uh, as you can tell, they uh, can very easily interact with. Dude. What's that? What is that? There's something back there. Dude. Oh man, that's it for my run, huh? This is seizure inducing. Floor 8 in 8 minutes. Not bad. In 7 minutes, 57 seconds. Let's do one more run. How bad is this gonna be? I bet you the end room is somewhere up here. And then obviously also this guy is here. Shoot, man, I want to eat some cookies. Bad. Two floors in less than a minute. Let's just see how far we can get floor wise. Floor number. Floor number wise. I better not be having a problem. Okay. Whew. Okay, these these types of places are why why you carry a recall talisman. Floor, we're about to be at floor five in a minute, 25. Lost. Let's keep going. Another possessed TV, huh? Dude, look at this altar to this apple. Alright, we're on floor six in two minutes. Not bad. Get 
on out of here. It's alright, because uh, having low health will actually increase my speed pretty greatly, and I haven't used my recall talisman yet, so I'm in good shape there. See how much the uh, low health speeds me up? Like, I can blast through this. So. Now I'm also hallucinating, that's one of the downsides. That guy is hallucinated. Um, okay. Whoa. Okay. No key, right? No. I can always panic and secondary the recall talisman. Okay. Do I have a map? Yeah. Okay, so I can see everything right now. Um, shoot, dude. I don't know where the hell the key would be. I guess I came this way. So I just go up that way. All the stuff I'm looking for is probably up there. Let's do it. Unless, did I go down here? No. And the key could be anywhere. Okay, okay, okay. Man, this one HP run. I think this should be a thing, man. Here we go. Oh, interesting. Okay. So because there's two recall talismans here, I'm actually going to drop one, grab the other. Oh, I should have kept that a, a 1 HP run. Bet you the exit's up here? No. came up through here, nothing. We got two choices. This area and this area. Uh, we're already up here, so why not? So let's go left first. Probably gonna be some zombies up here. No need for the recall talisman just yet. Yeah, the panic button on the recall talisman, the stray warp secondary ability, is pretty dope. You can, uh, get away real quick. You're, like, about to die. Okay. Nothing really going on up here. It's like a green mark. Oh yeah, that's the exit. Okay. Did I already go this way? Yeah, I did first. Okay. So, no more of that. I'm gonna go back down this way. Try out this half of the map. Flashlight, don't want it. Hit me out, Matt. What'd you give me? Oh, the map. I already got one, dude. Thanks. But, 
one of these guys, one of these bad boys, boom, 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 we're done. Don't need to do this level. So we're at seven and a half minutes, and I'm on floor nine. It's not bad. gone everywhere here? No. There we go. Have not needed to use the recall talisman yet. We're floor 10, about 9 minutes 13 into the run. Okay. gonna get extreme now. We got a dude chasing us. We need to get running. Oh, my health is not very good. We're at floor 10. Man, I can't lose now. That was all junk. Super out of the way, I'm gonna do one of those. Trap anything there. Offshoot closer to the beginning. Uh, like that. Oh, activity. Oh, uh, 
dude, an angered spirit is the last thing I want. Oh, interesting. This is a grandpa's wooden house uh, type level with the apartment false opening. I can tell because of the door, or the dead end door right here. Belongs to that level type only. Yep, and here we are. Really interesting level that this thing's pulled off. That's it. Do I want out right now? Not yet. Maybe there's a good talisman here, like a travel talisman or something, a skip talisman. Or am I just being too hopeful? I mean, skull's decent. I can't take warp with me, can I? Okay, we're at 14 minutes, 16 seconds, to floor 13. Uh, no excuse, I can go faster than this. Let's go. Oh my, haha! <laughs> no, that's so much map. Okay. Alright, something bad, something bad. Let's go this way. What's this up here? Big arena? Anything cool hiding in here? Far reaches of the map, nothing so far. Okay. What the hell? This just looks wrong. Anyways, that's it, right? So. What's this? So bad. Alright, 15 minutes, 20 seconds. I got the floor 13. It's the best I'm going to do for now. Thank you for tuning in if you watched this, especially if you watched it this far. Look at all those ones. 1 minute, 11 seconds. 1 page found. 11 talismans used, 11 spirits disturbed. Tip. If you see something strange, objects moving on their own, furniture growling, doors closing, you should leave. Whole run took me 1526. Thank you again for tuning in. I appreciate you watching. I'm going to stream this again sometime soon. In the meantime, take it easy.